What's good, BitRushers? My name is Kyler. In today's video, we're going to be doing an update on Mantra DAO Ohm Token. We've recently seen some nice updates on that project, as well as the price action moving nicely up. We do have recently added Mantra Pools that we weren't able to participate in last time. We're going to go ahead and do that today. We also have several things on the governance we can go ahead and take a look at, and a bunch of new tokens added to the Zentris, which is essentially the ability to lock up your liquidity in many different tokens and then borrow against that lock liquidity. So a lot of exciting things happening here. If that sounds good to you, please do stick around. Uh, if you're new around here, go ahead and follow us on social media. Links for all of that in the description as well as a link to the telegram chat at bitrush9000 you can also find a link to the teesprings where you can pick yourself up some sweet bitrush crypto merch and if you'd like to invest in me and the projects i invest in here i do have a token of my own the rush token it's an investment of this channel and the investments that we make here on this channel and so if you'd like to pick that up go ahead and find the link in the description to token.bit-rush.com or you can buy directly with the link to Uniswap. All right, make sure you pound that like button and let's get into the content. So since the last time we've taken a look at Ohm Mantra Dow project, we have seen some great price movement now up to about 26 cents, almost 27 cents guys. Um, recently it's showing a 7.4% growth, but much higher than that since our last video. Um, just coming down to the max here, we've basically been in this project since the beginning. Um, definitely was picking up a whole bunch down here at the lower six, seven cent range. Now upwards of 30 cents. Hoping to get back up above 45, 50 cents where we originally bought in on this one. Um, I got in right at launch here and then continued to average down. I uh, have a pretty um, significant position, not... Um, you know, in terms of dollar value, but uh, several thousand uh, ohm tokens. And so we definitely want to see this project continue to move up. Would like to see this one at a dollar or above. Um, you know, 30 days here, 213%. You can't complain at all about that, guys. So let's go back and actually look at the project. Like I said, we have seen some nice movement on this project in terms of features and um, different like collaborations being added and things of that nature. Uh, this project is a polka dot uh, parachain project, hopefully. Um, you know, one of the many projects that hopes to uh, secure a spot there on the parachain. So it's nice to see that they're already locking up liquidity and you can nominate both Kusama and Polkadot with them. And we'll see that here in just a second. So coming to the uh, Mantra DAO page, you do need to go down to staking and it opens up the app, which if you want to go directly there is just app.mantradao.com forward slash staking. And we're not going to cover much on the project, bef uh, you know, here today. But if you guys want, you can go back and watch previous videos where I talk a little bit more about the actual token and the, um, you know, the team and all that kind of stuff. So um, here today, we're just going to take a look at this. Let me switch to my other wallet. Okay, so my ohm here, the amount we have staked is six thousand four hundred and ninety-six. And if you guys remember um, at my last video, it was only about two, three hundred dollars value. Now we're sitting at about seventeen hundred dollars value. So again, you know, definitely some great growth there from three, four, five, six, seven cents. I'm just about broken even because I was averaging down from a much higher amount. So anything above this, and I think I'm in profit. And so that's definitely good to see. Happy to see this project is paying out. Uh, we are earning now 31.55% on the staking, which at the total amount I have staked here is about 6.1 ohm per day. And since the migration and the restaking, I've earned about um, 295 ohm total. So really great, guys, 31%. Um, and, you know, that 31% is then gaining uh, about 213% as we saw uh, here. So... Uh, really happy with this project again and it's still super cheap if we take a look like in terms of market cap we only have 71 million dollars and we're only ranked 330 in the total market cap uh, fairly low and even you know the price at 26 cents for a polka dot project i expect um, this thing to continue to get higher and higher as we get closer to the actual parachain auctions and if they lock a spot expect this thing to absolutely explode 
Something else you guys may notice here is Roya token. They've recently added this as one of the other tokens. So um, you can obviously stake our fuel as one of the other tokens. So ohm our fuel. Now they've added Roya, which is the Royale token. Um, I mentioned that one on my live stream a few days ago and most likely be doing a little bit more of a deeper dive into that token in the very short near future here um, coming up on the channel. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you sub to the channel. Uh, bell to be notified on all future content and then what's really exciting though guys if we see this is all so if we go to stake it just locks up the staking that we're talking about and then if we go to nominate um, you can nominate here your polka dot or your kasama and lock that up with them and what this does is it helps them lock up a spot and be able to um, you know hopefully get that spot on the Kasama network and then a parachain of the Polkadot network. So if you guys are a believer in this project and you have Polkadot or Kasama and you want to lock it up with these guys, you can definitely do that here. Something I may be looking to do in the future, um, I still haven't gotten a nomination on the amount of dot that we have on the Rush Fund, on the um, traditional just locking it up with Polkadot on Polkadot.js. Um, do that app and so um, we're not getting accepted because I think it's a small amount and I believe they'll, they'll accept it here so I'm thinking about switching that over it does take about 30 days to unbond um, so I'm not sure I want to do that just yet I'm going to leave it a little bit longer but if that doesn't work we're definitely going to bring it over here and get it uh, cooking over here on the Mantra Dow app and if you guys would like more information on this, they do have, you know, more information and articles and things like that and all this stuff on their website. So just take a look around medium articles and whatever. Uh, let's come down a little bit to the Zentris. So right here it says Zentris and so is in beta. So use at your own risk. Obviously nothing on this channel is financial advice, guys, but this thing is beta. So, um, you know fairly high risk i guess you could say um still could be kinks and you know errors in the code things like that so don't ever um you know invest more than you can afford to lose is always kind of the saying but especially when you're in a beta project um you know just you know, keep that in mind it's a little bit higher risk than usual and here you have your apy your dashboard and the amount that you can borrow against and then if we come over to the prices, you can see the different prices on the coins and the amount they're earning or the interest that you would get um, against them. So here we have to lock up some coins. So um, if you wanted, again, you could lock up coins here and use the coins in your balance as collateral. It's showing my bondly. I could lock that up. And then once you have some collateral locked, you can come down and borrow against that. So here's the borrow amount once you have... Um, a certain amount gives you a dollar value that you can borrow against. And um, the way that this could be used is for arbitrage. If you have tokens just sitting around you're not doing anything with, you can lock them up and then um, get different tokens that you might be able to earn a higher amount on without having to sell your other tokens or possibly restaking those tokens. But if you notice, any of the tokens that they stake, you're not able to borrow which kind of um, ruined my initial plan. What I was uh, kind of planning on doing is locking up some other tokens that I wasn't earning on and borrowing some more um, ohm and then staking that ohm and earning on that ohm at a higher rate than I was you know, borrowing against, but apparently they already thought that through and aren't allowing that. So um, you can still do it, just not on this platform. So for example, um, Bondly, you can stake Bondly. So if you wanted, you could... Um, lock something else up and then borrow Bondly and go stake that Bondly if you thought the amount you were going to earn is higher than the percentage you would have to pay back, right? Um, and same thing with any of these, like Curve, you know, this one's pretty high at 18%, but if Curve or Balancer or any of these was paying out a higher percentage than that, like Rune, um, that's nice to see they have Rune that's new. See, there are a whole bunch of new ones here, guys. Um, but if any of these are paying out on staking a higher percentage, then what you could do is you could borrow them and stake them and earn a little bit through the arbitrage. So um, I'll let you guys go over that and figure out what's best for you. Obviously not financial advice. Just want to talk about some of the possibilities. And really excited to see all these new tokens that they've added in collaboration with the project. Definitely makes me super bullish on Ohm and the project in general here, guys. Uh, moving right down, let's go into governance and we can click in and see this. There are um, several votes here and we're going to just go ahead and go through that we see partnership with Elrond. So let's check 
about that. Um, basically, they want to know if they should partner with Elrond, what people think. I say yes, sounds good. Any partnership is going to be bullish, so we have to connect our wallet, MetaMask, here we go. Okay, so now that I have some ohm in my uh, wallet here, I can say yes, and let's vote. And it does show how much you have and your voting power right there. And go ahead and vote and sign. And it doesn't cost anything to do this, guys. Just keep that in mind. Um, it's a costless transaction, so your vote is in. There we go. And it looks like most people are voting yes on that one. Mantra pool proposal. Let's take a look at that one. What is that? It says, I propose we burn the weekly mantra pool token contributions in order to decrease the current own token supply from 888 million to a final total of 555 million. So the other cool thing about getting involved in the governance is voting. You can kind of see what's going to happen. Like that would obviously be super bullish if that happened. If they, it's basically cutting it in half, right? Um, not, a, I mean, half would be 444, but uh, that's pretty close to half. It's about a 40% reduction in the token. So you can see right here we're voting. It's at 85% yes. I think we want to go ahead and vote yes on that one. Vote. And now we know we're even more bullish on this project, guys, because we know most likely they're going to implement this. And um, at that point, 40% of the total supply is going to be burned. That's super bullish on this project. If you guys aren't in Ohm, again, not uh, financial advice, but I'm super bullish on this one. And I may even pick up some more now that I know they're going to burn 40% of the supply. All right, let's go back here. And there was one more vote. Um, shall we? What shall we name the launch pad? And after receiving suggestions from the community, we've selected some of the top names. Okay, so uh, Nirvana Pool, Zendit, Shocker Swap, Sherpa Swap, Sherpa Launch, Prana Pad. We can see Zendit is clearly in the lead, and that's definitely the coolest sounding name to me. Um, Zendit. Vote. Get our vote in. Sign it. And there we go, guys. So we just increased that vote there, as you saw. So pretty cool that we can even vote here and we can um, propose votes or anything like that that you wanted um, within the actual community. So if you guys are part of this uh, project, if you're holding some Mantra Dow, some Ohm, go over here and make a vote. Uh, let's definitely get that thing burned. <laughs> That'll increase us by a lot. Uh, increase our value by a lot about 40 percent there so the mantra pool this is what they're talking about burning it's basically a lottery and um last time i covered this i didn't have any of my wallet so i wasn't able to do it but i do today so i'm thinking we should just hop in right here the total participants are only 13 um and the total pool entries there's 25,000 um ohm in here so they're saying we should burn all of that except for the winnings and uh yeah you guys can read through this if you want to like learn a little bit more about how it works and i'm just going to go ahead and join we're only going to do one entry um but we'll be the 14th person so oh actually never mind reject so i apologize i thought this was like the other thing where you're you're not actually sending a transaction but it does require an ethereum transaction which was going to be twenty dollars so i'm not going to spend twenty dollars to enter this lottery most likely why they have such few entries um that kind of stinks right there they need to get maybe a layer two or once they're on polka dot network they'll probably be using that and they won't have to worry about the ethereum fees um, moving along to karma this is not out yet but this is like they're going to reward you for the different actions you take most likely if you've interacted with the protocol you might get some drops i know people love the airdrop so um, probably something if you guys want to get involved and then again we do have the swap coming soon and i think that's what they're going to call the zende i think that's what we were voting on is that swap name right there so uh could be named zende and again, just to recap, guys, back to the staking, um, we are earning about 31%, 31.55% on our staked ohm, and we are earning the same amount, 31.55% on staking our Roya Royale. Um, again, look for a future video coming on the channel soon about that token there. 
Other than that, though, guys, that's pretty much everything. Um, make sure you did sub to the channel. Make sure you subscribe and um, put the bell on for all of the notifications. Pound the like button. Send this one out to a friend or family member who may be interested in learning about this DeFi protocol. Happy crypto. Let's get that coin.